My name is Jennifer. I've been in the crafting industry for over 10 years. I've made um, probably over thousands and thousands of balloon animals and today I'd be glad to show you how to make a ladybug balloon animal bracelet. Um, the supplies that you're going to need for this is a 260 balloon and the key to this is get your balloons fresh. You, um, you don't want these to get too warm. You want to have them as fresh as possible to um, avoid breakage. Just a permanent marker and something to blow your balloons up. This is what I use to blow them up. I know some people blow them up by hand, but I prefer to not have the children see me put these into my mouth. Safety first. So we're going to take, um, I'm going to be using a red balloon today, but you could always ask the child what their favorite color is or perhaps you're having a themed party and you're having a certain color, um, you can make this any color you want. So I'm going to put this onto my balloon pump and you're going to fill this um, not quite halfway. <coughs> so I would say that's about a 10 inch um, amount that you're, you're gonna have about half of a tail here. Um, and the trick with balloons is, is how much length you leave on the back that gives you the room that you need to twist from the front. And when you tie it, just a standard tie there. Um, and what you're going to want to do when you do this is just you're always going to want to keep the balloon kind of in your hand. So here we go with the head, about that big. Now you're going to do one, two, three, four legs about the same size. So I'm going to make this about that big, and I'm going to do three more. So that's my first one. Second one, now see I have these all three kind of in my hand right here. And I'm going to bend this around so that I can make the second set of legs. So I'm on three. And lastly, I have four. You don't have to be too concerned about these being the exact same size because they're going to be tucked under your ladybug and they're not going to be the focal point. So this is what I have for the body. Now what you're going to do is fold this so that the four legs, one, two, three, four, are on the bottom. And you're going to want to twist this around so it looks like this. And then you're going to want to take the knot that you did to secure the balloon and fold it around through the center of the four legs. What you're doing is actually doubling over the head, making a nice round circle for it. So when you do that, if you can look from the back side, you can see where I've twisted that. Now, so that's the head, that's the four legs. What we're missing is the body, which is gonna come when we pull that last bit of um, blown up balloon over, and you're going to have this. So here's the ladybug's back her head and her one, two, three, four legs. Now you have this wonderful um, tail and you're going to be able to secure that and that's what's gonna make this a bracelet. This is what's going to um, secure this to the wrist of the child or whoever you're making this for. Um, what's wonderful about that is that you can custom fit this. Um, as a child, you can make it a little tighter. If it's an, an adult, you can make it a little bit looser. Um, what you're going to do is wrap it maybe four or five times around the head. And then you're going to still have um, maybe about a two inch um, bit left over that's not secured. So you're going to want to put that back through this way and secure it to the back. Um, when making balloon animals, I like to secure it four or five times in everything that I tie so it stays on. That's the bottom. And that's the top. I like to twist the head around just a little bit. And then you're gonna take your permanent marker, just make two little eyes, and put some spots on her back. And that's how you make a ladybug balloon animal bracelet.